My name is Vicente. This video is just a basic waxing and tuning of the edge of a snowboard, kind of cleaning things up. So we'll start with the edges because you want to start there so you don't scratch up the base of your iron. So what you want to do is take the stone, hold it like this in your hand. You want to lay it flat so it's not, you don't want to go this way. You want to make sure the stone is facing the direction of the board. Hold it like that. So you can basically hold the same angle the whole way through that your board's already been sharpened at the bevel. And just kind of push it through. And this will keep your edge sharp, unlike deburring with a gummy stone. It kind of tends to round out and detune your edge. This will actually continue to sharpen it and remove the burrs. So that's pretty much all that I needed to do on the top edge. And you want to do the side if you can. And it's easiest to face the board away from you when you're working on the top edge like this. And the same thing, you want to hold your stone the same way, the board facing away from you. And it's going to feel a little different, but you just use your forefinger to guide the angle on the bottom and just keep it flat. So getting the little divots in the edge out isn't a big deal. Uh, it's the burrs that'll really slow you down. As you can see, there's nasty stuff all over the base of this board. I'm just gonna use some base cleaner. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a wipe down, get some of that gunk off of there. Board's all cleaned up. We're gonna move on to waxing. If you want to just cram some wax on your base, uh, it just helps to keep it from burning if your iron's just a little bit too hot or if you hit a spot where there isn't any wax from dripping it on there. So what you're going to do after you cram the wax on is just kind of drip it on there with your iron. Little drops as much as possible, sprinkle it out there. Once again, you want to make sure your iron's not too hot, it's not smoking and burning the wax. So get some wax on there and you feel like you're going to be good to go. Just go ahead and take your iron and um, just start spreading it out. Make sure you don't spend too much time in any one area. Just kind of push that bead of wax along in front of your iron. So that's done. So now we just have to wait for it to cool down. So when you take your scraper, a lot of people will scrape like this, pushing the scraper this way with the edge in. It's actually a, a bad way to do it because the scraper will dig into the base of the board and create gouges. What you want to do is actually go the opposite way with the scraper like this and just go ahead and just kind of put light pressure on. You want to make sure your scraper is really sharp because otherwise when you're scraping at this kind of an angle, it's a lot of work to get the wax off. I like to get the bulk of it off and then go through and kind of finish things out nice and neat. To finish up, you can either use a Brillo pad or a brush or bowl and just start buffing it out. Brillo pad is great for most people. This is all you're going to need. Um, just buy one for the kitchen, save yourself some money. And you can just kind of start going over it. You always want to go end to end on the board and this is where you'll start finding out where you left a little bit too much wax on as you go over. So just keep your scraper handy. Then when you get to the brushing, you want to brush it. Uh, just make sure you push end to end and just kind of little short strokes like that, kind of roll it. That way it'll um, create a pattern in the base and the wax. Just kind of bring the base pattern out a little extra. Just wipe it off and the dry paper towel and you're good to go. That's it for waxing.